If you haven't heard of Dahua WestSense series, well, too bad. The top feature of the series and all devices in it is the AI artificial intelligent processor as a foundation that enables the device to execute intelligent functionality like face recognition, uh, advanced motion detection and perimeter protection and use the deep learning algorithms. And there's nothing so special about this guy, we saw a lot similar. But what makes this one special is that it's fresh and brand new, it just launched, it's smart and it is priced below $100, which is really odd. And let me remind you that you can get this recorder along with IP cameras and other stuff on our people system store delivered across UK, Europe and many other countries. My name is Daniel, this is the Dawa 2104-i AI network video recorder and we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. All right, what it is capable of? The face detection and the more importantly, a face recognition, meaning a full featured search and comparison over the entire database. Also the face tracking, optimization and results output. But we are limited by only a single channel for this function. But what this single channel offers is eight faces processing at once in one second. Strangers detection and filtering and searching and comparing due to the power of artificial intelligence, advanced lists and filtering and we can upload in there 10 databases with as much as 5000 faces in total. Next, the thing named SMD+. So this is a DAWA specific feature where SMD stands for Smart Motion Detection that can be activated on all four channels in the recorder. And what it is, it's basically a more accurate motion detection. Accurate here means the advanced objects filtering. Only people and vehicles are in the focus. And you can search by these labels in the database. The technology just cuts off the detection of animals and the detection of trees and leaves on them and all other inanimate objects in sight. SMD Plus can take no notice about lighting changes and weather conditions like rain, snow and the wind. I took two videos with SMD Plus turned on and off and the result is in front of you. A way more accurate detection of the correct objects. The perimeter protection and intrusion detection on DAWA 24 or 1-I are made due to the artificial SuperMind 2 and what can I say, more accuracy and the ability to search the database by the labels, either it's a car or a man. And a few words about the DAWA's H.265 Plus, a video compression technology. So, DAWA promise a reduced up to 30% video file size and the bandwidth uh, accordingly, in compared to the standard 265 codec, and up to 80% in compared to the older 264. And uh, these numbers are achieved by the advanced uh, compression allocation. You see, the objects for interest, the moving objects, the people and vehicles are recorded in good quality. But the fixed objects are compressed way more. But um, don't worry, it won't look like what you see now on the video. This is a conscious exaggeration. I mean, uh, the bottom line is that the required objects here look good and are compressed just slightly. But the level of details of unwanted things is what we have sacrificed to get a video file size reduction. Concerning the uh, common characteristics, this is a one channel for cameras under 8 megapixels resolution, 4K but only for a single camera. The rest three are up to 2 megapixels full HD. 30 frames per second, the maximum hard drive capacity supported in here is 6 terabytes. And also, we have here three on-wave profiles supported for third-party cameras integration. And this is the live streaming, saving and recording of videos onto the hard drive, 265 compression rate support for third-party cameras, and the motion detection events, and even the tamper alarm, and even a PTZ camera's control over the network in a live mode. 
Regarding the ports and interfaces, do USB 2.0, HDMI, VGA, twisted pair cable in somewhere, RCA in and out, and the uh, 12 volt power in. Now, what's awesome on the setup stage is, of course, firstly, firstly, is the web interface i4.0 version new, which looks really nice. Let me just uh, get in. There we go. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to, I'm going to showcase, I'm going to demonstrate you AI functionality, which is the SMD smart motion detection, face recognition, face detection, and a tripwire, a uh, perimeter intrusion detection, zone and lines. Right. Uh, first, I'm going to show you that I've got cameras and I've got two cameras connected to the on the art and I've got a hard drive, a uh, Western Digital Purple for one terabyte. And I've got here one camera. It's a DAWA, so you can see it's private protocol, meaning DAWA. It's a pretty much new camera, H.265 compression support too. And uh, I made this. This is the Unviv camera. This is a high vision camera, uh, DS2CD uh, 2443 Q, four megapixels. Both cameras are four. And I just wanted to show you that. All the calculations, all the analytics are happening on the video recorder, regardless of which brand it is. I mean, uh, the video recorder here just gets the video stream from the Unviv camera due to the Unviv protocol, and then he's able to do anything he wants with that video uh, stream, like advanced analytics. And let's go to the live view so I can again show you that we're live. There we go. I should see two cameras. Now here's one, the Dawa that I have here now. Hello. I, the static and the camera in our office. So you can see it's a people, it's a motion, and we will need that. All right, we go to the artificial intelligence. And you can search by labels, and there are a lot of them. Gender, age, classes, birth, mouth, mask, expression. Yeah, this is a coronavirus outbreak and all other viruses, I suppose. And you see, it's done like extremely nice. It's done very good. And I'm going to show you a bit later. Now, when I set all things up and there's no smart plan in here support. Now, the face detection. All right. Uh, we'll begin oh, from the face recognition, the most interesting. And we're going to enable it right now. Although, although, what, what I have to say, what I have to say, uh, you see, I cannot do this without the database. I have to upload the database in here. That is a tool. It will take too long to make it now, so I'm really sorry. But I'm going to make a video. If you want it, please write your opinion in the comment section. And there's a I uh, one more free, but I'm not going to enable it here. You see, I were allowed only uh, to turn on this function on a one channel. And we're allowed to actually run in one camera only on 4K, like 4 megapixels, 8 megapixels. But all other three cameras, three channels can be um, only uh, under 10 to be 2 megapixels. All right, we turned on, we just turned on the uh, face recognition on the first channel down the camera here in the studio. Hello again. What we, what we, and this is strange along. All right, what we do next? We go to the face detection, and now when I uh, turn on the face detection on the uh, third stream, I press enable. I hold up, saving. See the success message. And now the schedule. What's awesome? You can uh, commonly go to the settings, I uh, go to the storage tab, and I uh, set up uh, all the uh, timelines, the video recorder, straight in there, straight uh, when managing the uh, hard drive. But now you can do it only function by function, which is so awesome to me. And okay, all days, 10 days a week. Now, I turned on this, and you can see it's empty in here. Now, regarding the IDS, it's about the trip fire, it's about the intrusion. Let's add a one more rule so you will see what we can do else. A trip wire and intrusion. So, draw a rule. Oh, hold up. And we can draw this lines. You know what it is, right? And again, we are really limited. We always have to choose. I mean, now we have two channels. Uh, running on different functions, the, uh, the face recognition and face detection on a, a second high-vision camera, the, the protocol connected. 
and uh, that means we can no more assign any more other functions to them. You always have to choose. That's just how it works. All right, first, and the SMD again, yes, you cannot do this right now, but I uh, just told you what this thing does. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pass a video demonstration uh, a bit earlier in a video. And now we're gonna go to the AI search by the labels, and I'm gonna show you the uh, face detection collected from my co workers. I'm gonna select uh, firm. And I'm gonna get a huge database. So all of my co-workers and the expressions, the bird mouth a mask, like it does it, great. And it records a 10, 10 second video clips by a, the event of detecting a face. So let, let me turn it on for you and you'll see. A new face appears in its field of view. There we go. And there we are. And uh, yep, this way goes, and it's great. Um, awesome device uh, regarding the intelligent functionality and the feature set in there, regarding the price and the comfort when using it. Thanks to the new UI, this is uh, lit. I really enjoyed working with this Dawa 2104-i network video recorder based on the artificial intelligent processor and I hope you like it too. If that's a yes, uh, follow this link to get to the People System Store or the link in the description. Shipping over UK, Europe and many other countries. And thank you for watching.